Hey YouTube family, how's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing alright. So I'm back with another cooking video. And today, um, it's going to be a semi-lazy mama meal. It's not going to be total, total, total lazy mama meal. But it's definitely going to be a lazy mama, a little lazy mama flair in there, okay? Um, we're going to be cooking some uh, fried tilapia. And we're going to also be cooking some cabbage. And we're also going to be cooking some roasted potatoes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you are enjoying this lazy mama meal. Why is it a uh, lazy mama meal? If you're enjoying these uh, cooking vlogs, these Lazy Mama Meals, be sure to go ahead and comment in the comment section down below. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And also turn on your post notification bell so you'll be notified anytime I do an upload. Alright y'all, let's get straight into this video. So I have my grease going for the fried tilapia. So it's over there warming up. And then right here in this pot is just a um, pot of water that I got on high. And then put it on high. And I'm going to put a little salt in there too to help bring it to a boil faster. And in there, I'm going to rinse off these um, baby Dutch yellow potatoes. And I'm going to put those in there. Cause I think I'm gonna be really hungry and I'm probably gonna take some for my lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna do two bags, I got two bags of these. I'm gonna do two bags of these. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to boil them, boil them so they can get softened. And then after they um, get tender, I'm gonna put them in the oven um, to roast. They're gonna be really good. So we're gonna get that started. So let me rinse these off. Hi. Head of cabbage. Um, I'm just going to cook one head of cabbage because I really don't feel like doing two tonight. Um, and I think I'm going to be the only one eating the cabbage. So I do have two heads, but I'm only going to do one. So I'm going to take one head of cabbage, I'm going to clean it, chop it up, and it looks like a lot, but it's really not going to be that much because as a cabbage cook, like spinach and um, any other leaf, leafy vegetable, it like shrinks or whatever. So we're going to rinse this off and get it cut up. Now this is just me. I usually don't use the outside leaves, the ones that have been exposed. That's just my preference. Usually I don't. Um, usually so soft. I like these pieces with the crunch to them, even though they're gonna get soft anyway. But anyway. Oh, I forgot to mention that I have the oven preheated to 400. So, um, they'll be ready for the potatoes because the potatoes get nice and tender. Uh, it looks like I need to buy some new knives because those... Those knives are not sharp anymore. If you guys know of some good sharp knives for cutting up stuff like cabbage and just chopping vegetables and fruits in general, go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. Because I know my pot's not going to take all this cabbage at one time, I'm going to go ahead and get it started. And then I can finish chopping this up, you know, as I go. I have to multitask in my kitchen, <laughs> for sure. To get the cabbage started, I gotta get me out the pan that I'm cooking in, which I'm gonna be using my pink pan right here. I'm gonna turn the stove. Go ahead and get the stove turned on to like a medium high. Now, normally, if I had some um. If I had some onions, I would put some onions in here and grill my onions first, but I don't have any, and that's fine. So I'm just gonna put about two tablespoons of butter. Oops, dangerous with the knife, huh? 
Okay, maybe like two and a half tablespoons of butter. And let that get nice and melted. I'm going to be using I'm going to be using some uh, garlic powder, black pepper, and some onion powder, and that is it. Go ahead and start putting my cabbage in. Then I'm going to add my seasons. If I had some bacon, I could add bacon in here. You could add sausage in here. But since we're going to have it with fried tilapia and potatoes, I decided to keep it pretty simple. I like it when it gets nice and caramelized, or not necessarily brown on it. Oh my god, it's so nice and brown. Alright, and then I'm going to add just a little bit of water. And I will be adding water throughout the process. I kind of like this. I like to steam mine. So I like to add my water gradually. And while that's working, I'm going to continue to chop up my uh, cabbage. Alright y'all, so now I'm about to get ready to um, batter my fish. So I have a little bit of fish batter from last time. Listen, I'm going to use it too. Let me show you the fish batter that I like to use. This is my favorite right here. The uh, Louisiana Seasoned Crispy Fish Fry. They have a one that's hot. I think it comes in a red bag. Then they have one that's like a zesty, like with lemon. And it comes in like a yellow bag. So I'm just going to open that up. I'm going to be using this um, pan, I mean, this bowl right here with the lid to um, put the seasoning in. So I'm going to pour some in there. And I'm going to pour the rest from last time in here. Because we're going to use it all. So that's for that. And, and the fish comes whole like this. You can see? The fish comes whole like this. And what I do, I just cut it right up the middle. To create um, two 
fillets. So, I got another one. Oh no, I already cut them all up. Okay, so they're all cut for, for us. And then, um, I put mustard on them. First of all, you can't taste the mustard, but it definitely makes a difference. It helps the um, batter adhere to the fish better, in my opinion. So I'm going to put that on there. It's messy. It's a messy job, but hey, we can handle it. <coughs> I to tend to the cabbage for a minute, y'all. I'm going to have to check on these potatoes in a minute. Get a fork and test my potatoes out. No, they still got a little more ways to go. All right, I'm gonna roll my sleeves up so I can get ready to deal with this fish. Can y'all see what I'm doing here? Let me y'all closer this way. Can y'all see? Okay, so we got the mustard on the fish I'm just going to use my hands it would probably be less messy if I had like a little brush but hey it's all good so I'll just coat the piece of fish in some mustard like this and then I put it in the batter those are two like thick pieces I want to try to put um pieces of the similar size and thickness um I don't know what I said hopefully I said fish or sizes but I want to kind of fry those together so they can kind of get done at the same time I'm going to give this a shake oh make sure the top's all the way on oh no I'm going to continue that routine of putting the mustard on the fish, putting it in here to shake, and um, putting it in a deep fryer to cook. Alright y'all, oh look at my battery's low, so we're still trucking along. Um, so this is what I want my potatoes to be like, where I can stick my fork through them. You see how I just easily stick my fork through there? So they are nice and done. So we're going to turn off the back burner. I have my handy dandy trusted old beat up cookie sheet here and I'm going to put some foil on it. Just because it's so beat up, right? I'm going to put some foil on it and I'm going to spray it with a little bit of cooking oil if I have some. Olive oil. I'm going to drain the water off of these and I'm going to put them on here. Or, if you don't want to do that, you could just pick them up with one of these things. I forgot I had this thing. You're going to lay them on your cookie sheet. I'm going to take a glass or a cup in this case is a cup and I'm just gonna slide can y'all see y'all can't see hold up I'm gonna slightly smash them just a little bit just a little bit not not horribly flat but just a little bit I'm going to lightly put a little bit of pepper on them. You should have sprayed them first, y'all, but I forgot. Then put the pepper on them. But whatever, I already put the pepper on there. Then very little, tiny bit of salt. If you have sea salt, then use sea salt. 
then we're gonna pop them in the oven. And this is hot. We're gonna let them finish off in the oven. This is what we got done so far. Doesn't it look delightful? And we're gonna continue to tend to the cabbage. All right, y'all, so here's the cabbage. It is all done and yummy. Here are the roasted potatoes. And here is the fried tilapia. I'm about to plate it up and eat it. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I recorded this a while ago. I've been meaning to get it out, but I, as you guys know, I've been battling with COVID, and um, that's just what I've been going through. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Go ahead and... Um, Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Go ahead and leave me a comment in the comment section down below. And be sure to share because sharing is caring. And like always, until next time, stay you, stay beautiful, and stay unique. Bye, guys.